give you a pitch today, son. Thank you, Mr. <laughs> You ever think of pitching regular professional baseball? Oh, I guess that's just about all I ever do think about. Uh, what are you wasting your time around here for? Waste my time? I get three dollars every time I pitch a game. Yeah. Look, son, I think you and I ought to have a little talk. Well, I'd like to talk to you, mister. I gotta get going. Where are you heading? Oh. Okay, if I trot along? Sure, sure. You're not in very good shape, huh? Well, I haven't been in training for a marathon. You walk up there and back every time you pitch? Yeah. See, the walk up. Sort of gets my muscles nice and loose, and the walk back keeps them from tightening up. Works out pretty good. Yeah, never thought of that. But about your pitching, like I was saying, you got a nice, easy motion. I guess you didn't walk all the way out here just to tell me you like the way I throw. Because you're a little ragged yet. You need some smoothing out, but I don't think that'll give us much trouble. Ever play any ball? <laughs> I've had my innings. Where? Oh, Chicago, Cleveland, Boston, I've been around. What, the big leagues? Yeah. <laughs> What'd you play? Behind the bat. You a catcher, huh? Oh, I caught all the big fellas. Well, what a... Oh, I know, I, I was a fool. A, a grand slam double barrel fool. Breaking training, hitting the bottle, you don't stay up there very long. And by the time I learned my lesson, I was out. And it isn't so easy to get back in. But when I saw you, I was seeing a dream come true. My dream of finding a hot prospect and coming back into baseball. Well, I sure would like to work with you. Well, may I offer my compliments, Mrs. Stratton? This was a meal fit for kings. And this pie. <laughs> Nothing like the pie mother used to make. Is that so? <laughs> my mother couldn't boil water. You don't say. Mr. Wilde here, he started looking around for something to do. I thought maybe he could sort of hole up here for the winter and help out around the place. You know as well as I do, Marty, we can't afford no hard hands. Oh, well, he wouldn't expect any pay. It was just room and key. When your papa died, he left this place to you, Marty. You're the man of the house. If you want Mr. Wilde around, I ain't gonna raise a fuss. You ought to be old enough to know what you're doing. Now, wait a minute. When you swing back, you pimp around like this. But don't try to strike out every batter. Use your control and let your fielders help you. And as you come forward, use your body. Follow through. I guess in a spot like that, the best pitch would be nice and easy. Now, follow through. Nice and easy. Oh, that's it, boy. That's beautiful. <laughs> Always, always cover first base when the ball's hit deep. Nice pitch, boy, nice pitch. Now, uh, let me look at the curveball. Oh, good hook, good hook. <laughs> now, let me see the big one. That's it for today. Get your coat on, son. Keep that arm warm. <sighs> well, you're ready. Why, oh, you're joking. Uh, I've taught you all I know. The rest you gotta find out for yourself. Now we gotta get you some action. Oh, well, not very much action around here. Oh, but there is in California. Jimmy Dykes and the White Sox are starting their spring training there next week. Chicago White Sox? Yeah. Jimmy Dykes, an old friend of mine. I've known him for 20 years. All I have to do is say the word, and he'll give you a tryout. He will? Sure. But out in California. Yeah.
some stuff, eh, Jimmy? Hey, he really breaks them off, doesn't he? Now, let's have your fastball. Let's go, Walt. Here it is. Maybe you better work out a while. Keep him around. He may have something. But for Pete's sake, get him a haircut. Say, country, is that the only suit you got? I know, I know, I know. I told you I didn't think this was such a good idea. Oh, forget it. I'm sure I can't ask you to dance, but I don't know how. Oh, that's all right. Just baseball's about all I know. Well, that's something. Seen us work out yet? Us? Who's us? The Chicago White Sox. No. No, I guess that's the one thing I've missed. Well, the team looks good. Looks awful good. Boy, it's a nice, tight end field. Oh, that's nice. I'll bet you're pretty good yourself. Well, I don't know. I, I'm still trying out. You're a big fella. I'll bet you can hit a baseball pretty far. No, I, I'm not expected to hit very much. So I'm a pitcher. Bet you can pitch far. Oh, you, you don't get the idea. You say I just have to pitch about 60 feet. All right, then I'll, I'll bet you can pitch fast. Oh, well, sometimes you have to rear back and sort of let her go fast like that. Other times you, you just sort of whip it, like that, curve her in. Or in some spots, you just sort of float her in. And that's what you call change of pace, you know. You, you Speaking of, sort of change of pace, it probably isn't any of my business, but would you mind telling me what that noise is? What the what? Jingling noise. Oh, oh. Look at that. I was going to get a haircut over at the hotel, and I noticed those machines in the lobby. I never did see them before. I sort of wondered about them, and I, before I knew it, I popped a quarter in, and a whole lot of fruit started spinning around like that. And then it uh, sort of slid to a stop, and nothing happened. But before I knew it, I popped in another quarter, and that was the last of the haircut. I was down to my last quarter. And, uh, well, I figured I might as well be broke as the way I was, so in with the last quarter, Fruit took off again and slowed up and stopped. All of a sudden, the quarters start popping out of that thing like hands to a busted fence. Went and got a haircut. Well, if you don't make it in baseball, you have a pretty good future in gambling. Uh, I'm through gambling. Why? Well, I found out what it's like to lose and what it's like to win. Why keep at it? Thanks. And I'm Let's not... Go. Where? Home. Why, country? The night's young. Lots of spots we haven't hit yet. Yeah, you hit them. We're heading home. I'm very glad to meet you. Night. Look, I, I'm, I'm sorry about tonight. You, you, you sort of got stuck with me, didn't you? Oh, that's silly. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I just never had much experience with girls. Good night. Good night, Money. Uh, Money, I'm sorry about tonight. I, I behaved very badly. But I haven't had too much experience myself with ball players. Well, I'm not exactly a ball player yet. You know, I still have to make the team. You know. You'll make it. Well, how do you know? You said you didn't know anything about baseball. I could learn. Well, when do you go home to Omaha? A little while yet. Time for me to come and call on you? Should be. Night, I hope. Night, Molly. Hey, Bud. Hey, you. Where do you think you're heading? How's that? I said, where do you think you're heading? Man, I sure don't know.
you all look good there today. Well, that old arm's really whipping today, wasn't it? Oh, oh boy. Hey. Team's moving east tomorrow, son. I'm gonna take you with us. When you get dressed, come in the office and we'll sign you to a contract. Why did you... Why did you... Why did you... <laughs> what are you gonna do, Barney? Well, uh, if it's all right with you, I sure would like to tag along with the boys. Can't have people just tagging along. Well, look, Mr. Dyke... Can't, can't have people hanging around doing nothing. Well, Jimmy, I'll do anything. What could you do? Offhand, I can't think of anything. Unless you'd like to coach the young pitchers. We didn't have too much time at that, did we? Enough to make me wish there was more. Maybe there will be. Well, you got any doubts about it? California turned out much better than I thought it was going. Yes, it was nice. You're making the team, wasn't it? Oh, that's not what I mean, and you know it. I know. Port aboard! Goodbye, Ethel. Let's get going, boy. All right. You will write, won't you? Well, I, I don't know. Well, how long are you thinking about me if you don't write? Well, I'll never be able to write down what I'm thinking. I, I'm not much of a letter writer. Port aboard! Port aboard! Hey, aren't you coming with us? Well, goodbye. Goodbye. This fella likes an outside pitch. You gotta keep him inside on him. Yeah, now this fella, he murders Kirk. You gotta power him at him, high and fast. You know, with a man on first, the batter will try to hit it behind the run in the right field, so you gotta pitch it inside. Good thing to know, if I ever get a chance to use it. Uh, don't rush it. You get an education this way. Good view of the game. I ought to be paying for this seat. Easy. Oh, those Yankees are murdered. I can get killed out there. What a gang. Dickie, DiMaggio, Gehrig. You can't power it past them, kid. If you're gonna get by, you gotta outthink them. Cross them up. Give them what they don't expect. I guess what they don't expect is me. You don't have to worry about me outthinking them from here. Boy, every time I get paid, I feel like I was stealing. Hey, boy! Warm up. What I've been waiting for, let's go. Oh, not at a time like this. Those Yankees have sent more pitches to Omaha. Now pitching for Chicago, number 25, Monty Stratton. What country? You finally got off the fence. Now yeah. batting for New York, Bill Dickey. <laughs> I didn't know when it was well off. Just another ball player. You gotta face them off. Play ball! Come on, rookie, let me see a nice
What are you doing here? I thought you were... I don't, I don't. Now, come on, sit down. I want to have a little talk with you. I got a problem. But you said in your letter you might pitch this week. I did, yeah. That's, well, that's what I want to talk to you about. Well, what happened? Well, everything. Honey, you know when I left you in California, I sort of figured... What was the score? That's not important. They, they murdered me. The thing that's bothered me is... That well, they can't expect you to win every game. Honey, they don't expect me to win any games. They shipped me down here to Omaha. Said I needed more experience. Well, they don't put you in jail for playing in Omaha. I know, I know. There's nothing wrong with Omaha, but it's just that I might not even make it here. I don't know. We're going out on the road for a couple of weeks. First thing I know, I'll be back on the farm. Don't you like the farm? Sure, sure. It's all right, but it's... Well, it's, then? Well, it's just that things are different now, so... Now, there's you. Am I your problem? Well... Would it help any if... if I said I love you? That's the problem. Oh, I see. Oh, no, you don't see, Ethel. I... No matter what I was doing, I kept thinking about you. And every time I'd see something exciting that I'd never seen before, I kept wishing you were there to see it with me. I don't know if that's love, man. I really got it. You had me worried. Oh, but I had all sorts of plans for us, honey. Going up in the big leagues and all. Now I don't know where I'm headed. Well, it doesn't matter to me whether you're in the big leagues or... But a man's got to know where he's going. Well, what do you want to do? Well, just give me a chance to make it. I just want to make sure that I'm not going to let you down. All right, Monty, if that's what you want. Oh, you're what I want. Oh, I love you, Monty. You could never let me down. Marty. Yes, dear. What was the score? 16 to nothing. 16? To nothing? Nothing. <laughs> Honey, do you know there's a tailor in Chicago that gives a suit of clothes away to every ball player that hits the scoreboard in center field? As of yesterday, the New York Yankees are the best dressed team in baseball. <laughs> shutouts, too. Gave him only two hits yesterday. That's what we sent him down there for. Get some seasoning. Ought to be mighty tasty by now. Pardon me. Excuse me. What are you looking for, sir? I'm not looking at him. I'm looking for a girl by the name of Ethel. <laughs> Mommy. My feet. Ellie, what? I'm sorry. What are you doing? Honey, I got a problem. Will you take your problem somewhere else? Yes, sir. Problem again? I have to catch the 11 o'clock train for Chicago. The White Sox have recalled me. Oh, well, then everything's worked out fine. What's your problem? I can't figure out what to give you for your birthday next week. My birthday? Uh, I've looked at a whole lot of stuff, but I just can't seem to be able to find the right thing. Oh, oh Monty, we don't want to talk about that. No, 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 we got to. Got to get it all settled. I, of course, I know what I'd like you to have. Well, why don't you surprise me? You may not want it. Well, what do you want to give me? Me. It's just what I've always wanted. Bombers. Bombers? Yeah, a few of the Yankees. That's them. Hello, Ted. Hi, Barney. Hello, Hello, Ted. Hello, Ted. Hello, Ted. Hello, Bill. You know Barney Wild. Hello, Hello Barney. And uh, Monty Stratton. Nice Mrs. Stratton, this is Bill Dickey. Nice How to meet you. Do. Met you early this evening, didn't we? Yeah. Everything I threw. <laughs> Are you back up with the socks now? That's right. Glad to hear it. Uh, what are you running short on suits? <laughs> Nice to have met you, Mrs. Stratton. Thank you. Good luck, Monty. Thanks. Go on. Why, he's nice. I told you she wasn't very smart. 
Yeah, you just wait till you see them tomorrow, honey. They don't call them the bombers for nothing. Some poor guy's gonna have a rough afternoon. By the way, who, who is gonna pitch tomorrow? You. Hmm? Me? Yeah, a couple of boys have sore arms. You'll work. What do you... Have you unpacked yet? Not yet. Well, don't. as nervous as you are. Oh, me, no, I... Well, this is it. Give them everything you got. All right, boy. Ready, go! Nervous? <laughs> We're pulling right along with you. one-man team, huh? Just one more, boy, just one more. like a seasoned veteran. Oh, sure, make it sound easy. Of course, Stratton was helped considerably by a nearsighted umpire. What was that? The umpire kept seeing home plate under the ball no matter where Stratton threw it. When Stratton cut the inside corner. When Stratton pitched, the safest place to stand Stratton was on the Stratton the outside corner. He was floating them up like big Stratton white balloons. Stratton smoked one down the middle. And then the infielder... Go! <laughs> now, 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 look, how, how long am I going to have to put up with all this abuse? Oh, about 70, 80 years, I hope. Well, now, if you'll call off your dog, ma'am, well, I've got some books here. Marty! Oh, my! How's my girl? I didn't know you.
dear son. New clothes yeah, and all. Yeah, this isn't the only thing new. Here's Ethel. Hello. Marty's been writing me about you, but he don't write as pretty as you look. Seems to me you've been running over with luck, son. Sure. How about some supper, Grandma? Oh. They're sure hacking away at Stratton today. Well, he's got to lose one sometime. He's won three in a row, and the season just started. Yeah, but he doesn't look right today. Hey, did you get something? I have a feeling your mind's not on the game. Well, I ought to be in Chicago with Ethel. What are you, doctor or pitcher? Hope she's not having as tough a time as he is. Well, this won't happen every day. Right now, I wouldn't trade him for any other pitcher in baseball. <laughs> what a future that boy's got. press interview down here. No, 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 no. I just thought maybe we'd go out and do a little celebrating. You know, Junior's going to be six months old tomorrow. And well, go, go on, on, go on. What are you waiting for? I have to catch my <laughs> breath. This is an event, you know. We don't get to do much celebrating in Chicago. Care to dance? Marty, you're acting very strangely. Well, now, it's a fine thing when a man has to plead with his own wife to dance with him. But you don't dance. You like to dance, don't you? Yes, I do. Well, maybe it's about time I learned. Huh? Besides, it's one of my old campaign songs. Now, come on, come on. You look funny. Won't be the first time. Come on, come on. What do I do now? <laughs> this was your idea. Oh, it's nothing. But you said you didn't know how. I didn't. Honey, I just got sick and tired of everybody dancing with you but me. Did, did you ever hear of Inez and Papania? Inez and Papania? Uh-huh. Marty, you've been taking dancing lessons. Uh -huh. Yeah, they got schools all over the American League. Of course, you always don't get Inez or Papania sometimes. You get... Oh, I remember in, uh, in Detroit, I got Drus Drusilla, and in St. Louis, I got a little short one by the name of Angelita. Cleveland, I got... Oh, then all those press interviews and, and meetings? Boy, I took so many dancing lessons through the seasons, the wonder I had strength enough to pitch. So, I got a few fancy steps here. Do you think you can stick with me? Oh, I'll stick with you. No alternative. It's
it's his leg or his life. But his legs are his life. The infection is spreading. If we don't operate immediately... Please. He's a ball player. He's a man whose life is in danger. We must have your permission to operate. Look at the mail today. Must be hundreds of letters here from people all over the country. Don't you want to look at them? No. Oh, if people are nice enough to write them, you should read them. If you like them so much, why don't you read them yourself? What do they say? Merry Christmas? Happy New Year? Maybe you ought to come out and tell me what you want to keep and what you want to get rid of. I'll get rid of it all. Oh, I suppose they're... There's a lot of stuff lying around we don't need. But I thought maybe there would be some things you'd want to hang on to. Like this ball the team all signed. But he isn't interested in anything. Or anybody. Everything I do or say seems to drive him further away. He's all by himself. I just can't seem to reach him. Well, I guess it wouldn't be right if he was letting it roll off his back like it was nothing. I know, Monty. He's, he's taken a bad beating now, but... One of these days, he'll start swinging back. Look at that road. I used to do 10 miles on that road like it was nothing. Just to pitch a game. Now I can hardly reach it, let alone walk on it. And then to top everything else, now I'm ornery into the bargain. I shouldn't have sounded off before. I mean, you have it rough enough as it is. I'm not complaining. Oh, well, maybe it'd be better if you did. You can't keep it all stored up inside you. you. You told me once a man's got to know where he's going. Where are you going, Monty? I don't know. Oh, I guess I'm just not going. And you said you couldn't let me down. What about the baby? Ma, yourself? Are you going to let everything down? What do you think I want to? What do you want? Well, it's not clear in my mind. I, before, I could do things, but now I can't. Nothing's really changed. You're still the same fellow I've always been in love with. I've made out much worse than you. You lost your leg. But I lost you. Oh, honey. I still feel the same way inside. I, I know you do, darling. That's what I've been trying to tell you.
guess I got a squawk coming, too. You sure waste a lot of money on those dancing lessons. Sure got me some gal. Shucks, didn't you know that? The daisy there. See? I kind of think Junior needs a little sunshine. Keep Daddy waiting. Put your little arms in. Now, you be a good boy. Please be a good boy. There. Come on. There we go. Looking baseball player can't even see you behind the mat. <laughs> Say, this is fun. I think I know what I did wrong. Come on, let's throw some more. Hey. That's the first time I've ever been kissed by a catcher. Oh, catchers don't do that, huh? Not as a rule. No. Sort of slows up the game. Well, don't you sit there. Let's see the big fish. You're late for practice. Well, I was finishing up out the North Passage. All right, now, let's see something today. Come on. Come on. Just throw it right over the plate. Oh, that's pretty bad. You can do better than that. Come on, right over the plate. Now, let's see a fastball. Fastball? Well, even if I did have one, what did you do with it if I threw it? Well, just throw it and find out. Come on, get it right over the plate. Oh. You call that a fastball. You had more hop on it a month ago. Hey, you're fixing to get your head knocked off. Don't argue with the catcher. When I say a fastball, I mean a fastball. Oh, come on, put it right in here, right over the plate. Okay. Right in here. Gee, honey, I'm sorry. You hurt? No, no, I'm all right. But you've just lost yourself a catcher. Never had a catcher quit me before. You never had a catcher before who was going to have a baby. What? Scout that All Stars game in Houston. Oh, I see. <laughs> Say, you look in pretty good shape. <laughs> no use in my asking you how things are going. No, no complaints, Mark. Uh, 
Hey, bag snatcher. Boy, you got to keep your eye on her. <laughs> You're going to stay a while, aren't you, Barney? Well, if I'm cornered, I might stay all night. You're cornered. <laughs> Afternoon <laughs> mail. Oh, thanks, Ernie. Howdy, Mr. Wise. Howdy, Ernie. You're looking well. <laughs> fancy suit. Yes, sir. -y. That's real fancy. <laughs> Great conversationalist. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, Monty? Oh, this is from Josh Higgins. He managed one of the all-star teams. Barney's going to scout. Wants me to come down to the game. How about it, honey? Well, if you want to, Monty. Well, I... why not, as long as Barney's going down? Well, sure, it's a great idea. We'll all go together. Sure. <laughs> like old times. Yeah, I'll tell Ma. Maybe she'd like to go, too. Might as well do this up right. Two thirty. that's us. Say, I think I'll go back and say hello to some of the boys. That's a good idea. I'll go with you. Well, no, don't you think no, you're very good. No, you go on, but don't gad back there and hold up the gate. <laughs> Ma, you'd have made a great umpire. <laughs> Yeah, he's got some good knuckleballs. Good pitcher. Left hand. Hello, man. Hello, boy. Hello, 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 Money. Uh-huh. But this is big baseball. They're playing for important money. They're gonna be tough. I know. That's the reason I wrote Josh and asked him to let me pitch this game. The tougher they are, the better I'll know just what's what. Your arm is probably all right, but you know, you don't just pitch with your arm. I know what you're thinking. I, I don't even have a knee. But I got to pitch a game, Barney. I just got to find out. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Here are the batteries for today's game. For the Western All-Stars, Gene Bearden pitching, Har T. Catchy. For the Southern All-Stars, Milliken Catchy. And in his first comeback appearance, Monty Stratton pitching. <laughs> I got so I was throwing the ball pretty good, and I was all steamed up, and I... But now I'm afraid. Afraid? Afraid of what? You've been beaten before. No, this is different. I, I keep saying to myself that I'm just the same as everybody else, but I, I wanted to prove it. I wanted to show you... You don't have to prove anything to me, darling. Well, maybe I don't have to, but I wanted to. But I, I can't go through with it. Marty. I came down to stop you. I was just as afraid as you are. But you can't turn back now. That won't solve anything. You're a ball player. Oh, I used to be. You still are. Or you wouldn't have come this far yourself. Us saying I'm still a ball player doesn't make me one. Well, then let's find out. Maybe I won't like what I find out. Would you rather stop trying? Good luck, darling. Do I look all right? You look just fine.
how the fans feel about our boy. Is this your idea? No. He wanted to surprise us. Well, Stratton's on the mound taking his warm-up throws. This is a big moment for Monty. Remember, before his unfortunate accident, he was the leading right-handed pitcher in the American League. His comeback attempt must mean an awful lot to the big fellow. Hey, Stratton's off to a bad start. Two clean hits in a row. Will on first, Berengale on second, Steve Mesner up. <laughs> Both runners advance to scoring position after the catch. Runners on second and third. They're hitting everything he throws. Fire hard. Fred warm up. Fred, warm up. Uh-oh, there goes Dobernick out of the bullpen to warm up. Sharp infield hit drives in the first run. Well, Stratton's really in trouble now. One run in, one out, then on first and third. He'll settle down. Sensational catch by Mattern for the second off. His quick peg holds the runner on third. Just a second. There goes Higgins out to the mound. It may be all for Stratton. Will he take him out, Barney? How do you feel, Money? I can't seem to get anything on the ball. Well, these fielders are going to be all worn out if this keeps up. Don't let that worry, fellow. They're all with you. Loosen up, Money. This is just another ball game. You can play it your way. Dang it! Watkins, the next batter, stepping up to the plate. And on first and third, two out. up!
I guess I started my slide too soon. <laughs> Well, they're getting to Bearden now. Two hits in a row. Ready? Ready? Pitchers duel since the first inning, but the Southern All Stars have two on with two out, and Milliken, a very good hitter, is coming up. They need a hit now. This may be their last chance. This guy can hit, Gene. Let's walk and work on Strat. Okay. They're going to walk him to get at Monty. Yeah, that's baseball. We got a pinch hitter now for Stratton. The base is loaded and two up. Money, I'd sure like to see you finish this game if it was just up to me. But these guys have a big stake in this game. Well, I think I can get them in. Well, I'd sure like to see you do it, son. But we're a run behind and the base is full. I've got to put in a pinch hitter. Get a hold of one, Money. Come on, yeah, Money. Money, you can do it, boy. Come on, Money. Take your cut. Wait a minute. Here comes Stratton. They're not taking him out. Well, it's not good baseball percentage, but they're going all the way with Monty. Listen to that crowd. Are they with it? A bad way now. Two on, nobody out. They're bunting this game right out from under him. I'm afraid there's nothing to do about it. There's Milliken, the catcher, out to talk to him. That looks like the pattern, Monty. What can we do about it? Well, I'll just have to get off the mound quicker, that's all. I'll get out there. All right, fella.
and nail that man at first. But he's not out of the woods yet. Runners advance to second and third. Only one out. Eddie. He's moving around too good now. Take a cut at it. Taking their full cuts again, but any kind of a hit will do it. Even a long fly will tie up this ball game. Swinging for the second out. Now this next one can be the big out for Monty. Look who's coming up. The power hitter of the league, Big Johnny Lindell. not won just a ball game. He's won a greater victory. As he goes on pitching, winning, leading a rich, full life, he stands as an inspiration to all of us. He's living proof of what a man can do if he has the courage and determination to refuse to admit defeat. <laughs> <laughs> 